Hello, just recently the VSN F35 mod was updated for DCS 2.8. There's a trailer up for the mod that I highly recommend everyone check out. The description below the video has a link to it if you haven't already watched it. The mod is still a work in progress, but now we have the ability to veto with it. I've been personally using the F35B variant and have bound the veto button so I can do vertical takeoff. This isn't a tutorial, but I still wanted to give some quick tips. So make sure when you want to do vertical takeoffs, you rotate that nozzle. It's called a toggle, but you can keep pressing the button to rotate the engine. When you download the mod, make sure you check out the PDF manual that's included with it. And also visit the developer's discord which has more information and might even make it more clear, but I'll probably, I'll make sure I also leave some tips down there to help you all out. Also, as you can see, it's still using the F15C cockpit. Looking at the Project Discord channel, the developers, they say that the modeling work is already done for the interior, so we have that to look forward to, but they say be patient because they're still working on the MFD pages. So sounds like that's a lot of work. So let's definitely wish those guys luck. And hopefully, you know, we'll get something soon. We'll have a nice complete F35, which is, I'm very excited because I've been like keeping my eye on this and I never showed this module before because I couldn't get it to work. I couldn't get inside the plane. I was one of those. I noticed a lot of other people had that problem, but some people were able to get into the cockpit. I couldn't know. So this is super exciting for me because now with this update, I can finally get inside the F-35 cockpit and experience it. And this is a first for me in DCS being able to do detail since I, I didn't get the Harrier module. I don't currently have plans to get that at the moment. I heard great things about it, but it just, you know, it's just not in the car for me at the moment. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. This was just a very quick, quick update, not a tutorial how to use this module, but hopefully after I get more time to play with it, maybe I can throw up some more content. All right, that's it. If you like the video, don't forget to leave a like and see you later.